Hey, Kay, what's up, sis? Nothing much, just going through some of these bills for the party. Yeah, I was just doing that too, yikes. It'd be nice if our good-for-nothing sister-in-law would help out a little. Don't hold your breath for that one. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting worse? No, not your imagination. She's been a total nightmare ever since she announced she wanted to have this party for Paul. He doesn't even like parties, much less his own, much less a surprise one. He gets startled by the mailman. I can't say I blame him there. I hear he's a scary guy. Nah, Russ is a big teddy bear. He was a lieutenant in the Israeli army. Why does Maud even think this is a good idea? Well, I'm sure she thinks it's a great idea for her. She loves to throw parties, remember? Every major holiday. And some minor ones. I remember she once had a luncheon on April Fool's Day. Our poor brother, he's going to have a total meltdown one of these days. I can't believe he hasn't had one now. She makes all the choices, spends all his money. Our baby brother, what happened? She wasn't always like this. She was always like this, she just wasn't always this bad. Was it her family? What are they like? As far as I know, just like her. Well, that explains it. It's almost enough you feel sorry for her. Almost. Having a terrible family is a reason to be the way you are, not an excuse. You nailed it, sis. We got lucky, our parents are great, but I don't know how Paul puts up with it. He was always so awkward and shy around girls. I think when she came along, he just fell head over heels. It's like her huge personality just swarmed in and swallowed him up. And 20 years later, he's a beaten man. At least he has those great kids. We've really been blessed with some awesome nieces and nephews. But do you think they've gotten wise to who their mother is? I think the older ones have an inkling, especially Hillary. She's so smart. She definitely does give her a lot of side eye, even for a tween. And it's more like she's just confused. Like, what is wrong with my mother? Should I be concerned? Well, what can you do? No changing her now. You said her family is just like her. She was an only child, if that explains anything. So it must have been quite a shock to marry into a family with six siblings. I guess, but I'm not sure she ever showed it. I think she just dominated from day one. But is that what Paul wanted? Maybe if he did, we should judge either of them. You remember what he was like when they first got together. He was the extroverted one. She fed off him. Hmm, you're right. When did it change? It was kind of a gradual thing, but I guess I'd have to say the first shift was after Caleb was born. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Believe me, I understand what it's like being a new mom, but you have to make sacrifices. And she wasn't willing to make any. It took her a long time to grow up. Oh, come on, she never grew up. What are you talking about? Well, she did stop the affairs. As far as we know, but who really knows with her though, right? I think something would have come out by now. It's not like she's ever been good at keeping a secret. I can't believe Paul didn't know all about this surprise party in five minutes. Well, it was her idea after all. Although I'm not sure that would stop her from inadvertently ruining it. That's what I'm talking about. It's just all so exhausting. Imagine how our brother feels. I feel sorry for him, but one of these days he's going to have to stand up for himself. I know. Listen, I gotta go. I have to finalize some things for the party. Can't believe it's tomorrow night already. Let me know if you hear from Paul, okay? Will do. Bye. Hey, big sis, what's up? Hey, bro, just watching Netflix and eating ice cream. What kind? You know what kind. Don't tell me. Chocolate chip cookie dough? With peanut butter swirls. Ugh, you're gonna make me puke. Speaking of puking, you're gonna be 40 tomorrow. Gross, you old man. Well, you're 16 months older than me, so what does that make you? Oh, please, I'm way younger looking than you. Oh, yeah, how do you figure that? I've seen those pictures of us from Christmas, side by side. Shut up, you know I worked like 60 hours that week. You still working those hours over there? I don't know, sometimes, not as bad. Well, I hope Maude appreciates what a hardworking husband she has. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure she does, and I speak fluent Mandarin. Anything you wanna talk about, Paul? Talk about, like what, the weather? Sure, it rained today. And when it rains, it pours. Hardy har. Why don't you look at 40 as a new start? instead of the beginning of a steady, systematic decline. Come on, you saw how many times I've reinvented myself? How many times Kay has changed jobs? Changed boyfriends. 
Yeah, well, nobody said she was perfect, but she doesn't let anyone push her around. Are you saying I do? I'm saying Kay doesn't. Are you trying to tell me something? Well, I suppose not consciously, but I feel like I know what you're getting at. You know we all love you so, so much, right? Yeah, yeah, I love you too, blah, blah. And I know what you're gonna say because I think it too. I know it. What do you know? That Maud has me whipped like a donkey, that I am totally under her control, have been for years, and now's the chance to turn it all around before it's too late. I guess something like that. Have you and Kay been talking about it or something? What gave you that idea? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. But you're right, of course, she does walk all over me, always has. Not in the beginning though, right? When you two first started dating? Oh god, yes, always. Really? We, I mean, I thought it was more of a gradual thing. Is that how it looks from the outside? Gee, I guess I did a better job hiding it than I thought. What made you marry her in the first place? I don't know, I guess I needed someone to take charge. But not anymore? I don't know, sis. Well, anyway, whatever you do, you know we're all behind you 100%. Well, better be careful back there because I had a big bowl of chili for lunch. Ugh, you're disgusting. And I thought it was your wife who never grew up. So what are your plans for your birthday? Well, I guess Maude has this surprise party planned. What, you knew? Of course I knew. I knew the minute she got off the phone after she told you and Kay. She told you? In so few words. She's the worst. It's okay. You know I wouldn't be very thrilled to walk into a room to that. We tried to tell her. So she roped you all into it? Are you kidding? We're her little assistants. Oh, great. Yeah, you know, running here and there, picking up the cake, the decorations. Oh, jeez. The catering, the piñata, the clown. There's a piñata and clown? Just kidding. Jerk, you almost had me going for a minute. The thing is, I wouldn't put it past her, just to be weird and embarrass me. She'd probably fill the piñata with Godiva truffles. So how many people are coming to this thing? Are you sure you want to know? Just tell me. Okay, but don't freak out. Out with it. Last count, 66. What? Oh my god, what is she thinking? Who are they? I don't even know 66 people. Do you know 66 people? I guess they must be mostly her friends. Oh, kill me now. Now, now, it'll be okay. And how's that? You know it's just an excuse for her to throw a party. So even though it's your birthday, the focus won't really be on you. It'll be on her. So you're saying that I'll just be sitting there like a schlub while she's being the social butterfly yet again? I guess so, yeah. But don't you understand how weak and small that makes me seem? What do you mean? I hate parties, Laura. I'm just not a social person. And she is. And it even goes beyond that. Maud has to be loved. And if it's supposed to be my birthday party, but she's acting like it's hers... I'm gonna look like a total jerk. No, you won't. Everybody knows her by now. They understand what she's like. Everyone loves you. So you've seen this guest list? Yeah. Are Phil and Mel coming from my work? Yeah, I believe they are. You see, they don't know what she's like. She's going to totally embarrass me. And now all the invitations are out, everything's set up. The party's tomorrow, for God's sake. You are really freaking out about this, aren't you? I've been waking up in a cold sweat all week. Why don't we just cancel it? I mean, if you're this stressed out about it, let's just cancel. Maud would never go for that. And besides, my bosses are coming. How's that going to look? We could just tell them you were sick or Maud was sick. I'm not a good liar, Laura, and I could never keep that up. Okay, okay. I think all I can do is grin and bear it. Try to get through. Brother, promise me you'll reassess things. I do it every day, sis. <laughs> Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Hi, Maud. Pretty good. A little frazzled, but okay. You? Frazzled? Why well, frazzled? Well, you know, just trying to get some last minute details taken care of. For what? For the party? Your husband's and my brother's 40th birthday party? Oh, right, yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, something sort of, uh, came up. Came up? What do you mean, came up? Is Paul okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, Paul is fine. Actually, I haven't even told him yet. Told him what? That the party is off. You haven't told him that his surprise birthday party is off? That's right, isn't that like what I just said? <sighs> Moving on. 
Do you think maybe you could tell me why you're canceling the party the day of? After everything has been set in stone and we can't get any of our deposits back? Oh, well, uh, turns out a client is coming in from out of town short notice and I need to meet with them. Oh, really? About what? About uh, corporate things, you know. It really is way over your head, dear. Mm-hmm, yeah, and what, if I may ask, is this client's name? Marigold. Marigold? That's quite the old-fashioned name. Marigold what? Marigold! I don't remember! What do you care? I really can't believe you, Maud, after all of our planning, all that work. Oh, please, I was the one who did all the planning. Maybe you were the one whose idea it was because it would never occur to any of us to. Because we know our brother and we know he hates parties. He's my husband. I believe I know what he does or does not like. Do you really think he's ever had fun at any of those parties you throw? Of course he does. I always see him sitting there smiling. He's sitting there smiling because that's all he can do. Because Kay has to give him a sedative every time. Oh, that's nonsense. You don't even know your own husband. Well, at least mine has a good job. Oh, please, you know nothing about our lives. All you do is leech off Paul anyway. Did I not just tell you I have a client coming in? We have important business to discuss. Sure you do. Like which hotel is the most discreet to cheat on your spouse in? Excuse me? Some things never change. You are disgusting. I can't believe you'd accuse me of such a thing. Yeah, we'll see. And what does that mean? What proof do you have? You don't need proof when you have instinct. Well, your instincts are way off. My instincts are honed. Goodbye, Laura. I expect we won't be speaking after this for a long while. Oh, I expect it. And expect your brother to hear about this as well. I can't wait. Hey, Kay, where are you? Home, getting ready for the party, aren't you? You mean our gracious sister-in-law didn't call you? No, what are you talking about? The party's off. What? What do you mean? I mean, Maud just called me and said she has a client coming in from out of town that she just has to meet with. But, but, what about the food, the music, the everything? I don't know. I mean, do we start calling people? Is she going to call people? Oh, I think we're alone on this. Although, maybe Paul could help us. He knows about his surprise party? Of course he knows. She is just unbelievable, and I was seriously almost done getting ready. I know, me too. Well, I guess I'll start making calls. Ugh, this is so awkward. I can't believe she's putting us in this position. Really? You can't? Okay, I guess I can, but still, this sucks. And can we even get our deposits back? Oh no, those are long gone. Well, do you want to come over and we can make the calls together? I'm already on my way, just got on the bus. Great. Have you talked to Paul yet? Not yet. I'm honestly a little nervous about it. Why? I think he'd be relieved, right? Well, it's true. He said he'd been totally dreading it, but his bosses were going to be there. Well, so what? I don't know. He just thinks all of this reflects badly on him. He feels he can't win either way. Well, he kind of can't. Not with her around. Well, she's not going anywhere. Not unless he has an official grounds for divorce. But you said she's cheating on him. That's why she canceled the party. I don't know. Things have a way of turning up. What's that mean? Are we going to hire a private investigator or something? Well, I don't think we'll need one. Huh? The bus just made a stop at 3rd and Willow. You know that new restaurant there? The one with the really nice outdoor seating? That's it. Well, guess who's stupid enough to have brought her little boyfriend down to it for brie and wine? You are kidding. I didn't think I believed in fate, but... Well, why are you wasting time texting me? Start taking pictures. Oh my god, they're kissing. Video, video, get a video. We got her. Oh my god, Laura, I can't believe it. Now we just have to get Paul to meet us at your place. I'll text him. Okay, let me know what he says. Hey, Paul, where are you? Hey, Lauren, just getting ready for the party. Just took half of the pill Kay gave me. Think it'll work? I think maybe you should just go ahead and take the other half. Why? Uh, what's going on? You sound weird. You haven't talked to Maud? No, I've been wondering where she's been. She should have been home by now. I think we're supposed to leave soon. 
The party's off, Paul. What? Just watch this video. Hold on. Who, who is that? About an hour ago, Maud texted me and told me that she has to cancel the party. That some client from out of town is coming in and she has to see them immediately. She claimed it was a woman. That's definitely not a woman. Oh, brother, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Honestly, I'm relieved. I mean, I had my suspicions. You did? Yeah, for some time now. I mean, I remember when she was younger. Yeah, she'd had her affairs. I thought it had stopped, but I guess not. It's okay. Nobody messes with my brother and gets away with it. I'll be fine. It's the kids I'm worried about. They're good kids and resilient. They'll bounce back. I'm not so sure kids bounce back from divorce, no matter how terrible one parent is. So you're finally considering it a, a real divorce? I think I made up my mind a long time ago. When are you going to tell her? Well, I mean, I guess the sooner the better, but what about this party? What are we going to do? Well, I guess we have to call everyone and tell them it's off. She probably already told all of her friends, so we won't need to do that. You're right, and that was like two-thirds of the guest list anyway. God, I hate parties. I know, I'm sorry. I should have shut the whole thing down as soon as Maud brought it up. You know what? Screw it. A brand new me, right? What do you mean? I mean, let's do it. Text everyone, tell them the party's still on, but they can return the gifts. And is there a happy birthday banner? Yeah, maybe. Hmm, well, we'll definitely have to take that down. Actually, I may have a better idea. Hey, Lauren, how are you? Oh, hey, Maud, what's up? Well, I was just wondering, my, uh, client and I, we were driving past your house and noticed, like, a lot of cars parked outside. Oh yeah? Do you see the banner too? You mean the birthday banner? You hung that up? I canceled the party! Well, if you get a little closer, you'll see what it says now. What do you mean? Well, the theme of the party has changed a bit. Can you see it yet? What... what does that say? A little closer. Oh my god, does that say? Yes... Happy divorce, Paul? Indeed it does. I was beginning to worry there for a moment, dear. You might want to get your eyes checked. What is this? I'm coming in there! You against me and my five brothers and sisters? Bring it. Damn it, Laura! Bye, Maud. Have a nice life. Or don't. Paul hired a lawyer the day after the party, and one day while Maud was squeezing peaches in the produce aisle, a big burly man in a cheap suit served her with divorce papers. She ended up in a relationship with her business client, but it blew up after she caught him cheating on her with a flight attendant. Paul broke the news to his kids, who took it as well as anyone could, but ultimately he knows it's all for the best and hopes eventually they will too. Laura set him up with a woman from her office named Carrie, and they've been dating for over a year and he can't believe he could ever be this happy.